Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's topic, breaking news, Calais Campbell is returning to the Ravens. Let's go! The backbone of our run defense. The backbone of our actual complete defense. That guy, the guy that we say is the old guy, is coming back for his 16th season in the NFL. And today he talks about not only coming back, but he talks about who he believes is going to be the winner of the Super Bowl and why he believes so. So without further ado, I'm going to play that little 50-second clip and see where we're going to. All right, let's get it. From a great time. Headline being that you're back for season 16, right? This you're is true. I'm coming back, baby. That is big news. And then the other headline Congrats, man. is Thank you. Thank you, who's going to win Super Bowl 57 in your estimation? Oh, man, you first know, up. It can be, it can go a lot of ways. It can. This is a, <laughs> there's a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. This just is on offense. Oh, my God. Mooch, have you influenced <laughs> no, the last two hours? Don't all about it. Come, Come on. on. Make the calls right, through and do I'm, it. I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles, and mainly because I think they're going to be able to run the ball, play good defense, and then when they need to, they can make their big play throwing the ball down the field. I think Jalen Hurts is MVP. I think it's going to be a great ball game. It's going to be fun to watch. But the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the ball game. See, you went fence first. Then you got off the fence. You actually gave us something concrete, which we appreciate. That's the first game prediction of the day. Thank you, Calais Campbell. You are the man. Thanks. For being with us here today. It's Thanks, always a pleasure, Back baby. for season 16. Season 16. So you heard him. Because tell you the truth, I'm laughing because I picked the Eagles to win this game tonight. I'm hoping that they win the game tonight. And Jalen Hurts should have got MVP. There it goes right there. That's where I'm at. Um, but here's the thing. Um, that's not the only thing he was up there talking about. Calais Campbell, of course, just like every other Baltimore Raven, even former Baltimore Ravens, you know they have to ask a certain question and how they feel about that person which people always question. That's a bar. Yes, sir. So I'm going to play the second thing he was on live saying this morning. The man is a legend. I wonder if there's anybody here on the set who might have an opinion on the Lamar Jackson uh, scenario in Baltimore. I just have oh. to have a big opinion. Okay. <laughs> big opinion. So your opinion is, Calais? Man, this Lamar, Lamar Jackson is a phenomenal quarterback. We do not leave. He needs to stay in Baltimore. He can't go anywhere else. He should play his whole career in Baltimore. The man is a legend. He, I mean, he carries himself like a professional. I mean, he's, you know, he's maturing and growing. And, and I love playing for him. We're on the football field, and we know Lamar Jackson's back there quarterback. We believe we can beat anybody. You can't just put anybody back there and expect to, you know, be a great football team. I know there is business and things happen. In business, you know, you're going to have times where you have to entertain ideas. And somebody might come and say, oh, we'll give you five first-round picks or whatever. But who do you replace them with? You know, there's no guarantee that when these rookie quarterbacks will come in to be under Lamar Jackson. You know, you go to get a free agent, and you don't know how they're really going to fit. And really, there's no free agents out there that are Lamar Jackson. So whatever we need to do, I mean, hey, Eric, Eric DeCosta, I love you. Let's find a way to make this happen, baby. So... <laughs> Hey, yo, you know why I like this? Do you know why I find this funny? Do you know why this is a, it, it holds more weight than someone like a Mark Andrews, right? Because I gave you the reason what Mark Andrews where I was. The reason why this holds so much weight is because Calais Campbell is coming from a team that had one of the best defenses in the league, if not the best defense at the time, for the Jacksonville Jacksonville Jaguars. And I don't know if y'all remember what derailed that team was quarterback play. Calais understands better than anybody how soul-sucking, how unmotivating, how detrimental it is to play an NFL game or take upon an NFL season without an established NFL QB. Now, I laugh because if you actually hear what he said, he didn't say we were playing for John Harbaugh. No, 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 no. He didn't say we were playing for the Baltimore Ravens. No, 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 no. Did you hear 
what one of the greatest defenders of all time said. He said, yo, we love playing for him. You know him. Lamar Jackson. Demetrius. LJ. Action. And you know no good. Because he's never flacking either. I'm Listen, this, look, he's coming back with, the hope and notion that Lamar comes back to. Don't you guys think that that impacted his decision on coming back? Because do you know what every Ravens player said to themselves uh, just when they got knocked out? If Lamar was out there, we could have won the Super Bowl. If Lamar was out there, we could have won this game. If Lamar was out there, we could beat any team. That same team against the ever-loving Joe Burrow should have beat them. But because of a, a untimely QB mistake, it cost them the game. And I keep trying to let Raven fans understand that if you've played this game at the highest level this is for any profession right when you play or you do something at the highest level you don't want your success to be dampered simply because you do not have the co-workers to help you to achieve your final goal you know what that's like that's like doing a group assignment right and everybody's busting their tail for this crazy science project. Everybody, everybody's molding. Everybody's cutting. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, 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 printing out, looking up information. And you have this one guy, this one woman, this one person who is just in the group that is nothing but an absolute dead weight anchor to the progress of the group. And guess what? If you win, that same person gets all the adulation. But if you lose, you know why. If you didn't get that A+, plus because they didn't do their part well, all of you share that lower grade. That's where his mentality is coming from. Because unlike uh, some people... Or, or, or other players, he understands better than most what it is to be on a talented team and have the talented team absolutely be broken apart, fade away, unwilling to win games and stuff like that because they don't have the QB to lead them. I don't care how good your defense is. I don't even care how good your O-line is. If you don't have that QB, no matter what else you have. If you don't have that QB, you have nothing. I have nothing, nothing, nothing without you. Bars. And you're seeing online all these people I hope they trade him. He's past his prime. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to Calais, right? Because there was actually talk that him and a couple other people were mad at Lamar for not um, playing. But see, the truth will set you free. The truth comes out in the end. And as always, real recognize real. When you're special, especially at the quarterback position, players want to play for you. People are not coming to Baltimore just because they like black and purple. <laughs> They're coming because when you have a dynamic QB who is leading your team, you have an opportunity at a Super Bowl. And if you don't have a QB, especially a dynamic QB, you usually don't have a shot. <laughs> and I want to make sure that you understand where I'm coming from when I say that. 
Do you know how much talent has been wasted in the NFL? Defensively, even offensively. Because a team did not have the quarterback. And some fans and some people and some unknown execs think that that's the intelligent thing to do for the Ravens. I want to let all Raven fans know this. And I want to make sure I say this loud enough so it gets all the way into their psyche. We are not the 49ers. I'm so tired of people using that as the crutch. Look at the 49ers. They don't got a great QB. They have almost everything else. And guess what has held them back from winning a Super Bowl? The QB play. So that's what I try to tell people. I sometimes you just wish you, you, you wish you could just go to Twitter, walk up on people, and just be like, oh. shut up. Why'd you hate me? Why? I'm right. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because oh. uh, you deserve it. This team has the ability to go all the way, but it only has that ability with a top quarterback. Because if you do not understand, and in the great words of the Notorious B.I.G., if you don't know, now you know, <clears throat> great quarterbacks can cancel each other out in bigger great games. It's the rest then of the teammates to pick up the slack than to win because if you have two quarterbacks dueling and going back to 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 back, then you're going to need a play on defense or a play on special teams to be the deciding or differentiating factor between the two squads. Do you know what the Ravens did before Lamar Jackson went down? They were leading every team by double digits going into the fourth quarter. With Lamar. Without Lamar, 13 or 12.7 points a game. Look, if you don't like the way Lamar looks, you don't like the way he talks, you don't like the way he carries himself, that's one thing. I can, You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like he's totally authentic, right? But if you don't like it, fine. It's not your cup of tea. But to think that someone of his ilk is in the waiting, and you could just draft and find one. Seems like you forgot where you came from. I didn't. I remember what this team was between Lamar, before Lamar Jackson came in. We were utterly horrible. Utterly horrible. With this man at the center, there is no team in the league that we can't beat. And that's without the wide receiving help that the that his counterparts have. So I ask you, so I ask you this. What more does he has to have to do? Because once again, the Ravens didn't want to pay him even when he was healthy, right? And now he hurts himself because of two, because of bad. Teammates on the line. That's what's gotten Lamar Jackson hurt. Not running. It's trusting his line. And him getting hurt because of it. Shout outs to uh, Calais Campbell for coming back. I'm so actually, so I'm so happy about that. Because he's been nothing but consistent. And he is a bona fide Hall of Famer. And we got him on the D-line. And guess what? He's an, he's an amazing player on and off the field. You can't want a better teammate or player on a squad. But one of the biggest reasons he's coming back is because he believes Lamar Jackson will be back. So the Ravens, just like he says, do right by the defense. Do right by Calais Campbell and bring Lamar Jackson back. And that was another episode of the Wonderkin Show. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Listen, man, I always say this, and I'll keep saying it. You can be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. 
You know I love talking to you guys. We have great conversations down there. Just be respectful to other people. That's all I ask. And if you would like to help out this pro this platform, at the bottom of the screen is the QR code for a cash app. In the description, you will also find the cash app. Money sign. The Wonderkin Show. So once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you guys knows my slogan. Peace. And I'm out. Yeah.